Hello. So I am here to give you some tips if you are about to have surgery that involves a ovarian cyst removal or um, endometriosis cleanup. A brief history, I had an ovarian cyst um, that was hemorrhaging, which is a lot of fun if you haven't gone through that before. Um, and my doctor suspected that I had endometriosis. It continued to grow. It was the size of an orange. And after a lot of pain and a lot of stress and a lot of medical bills, I decided to finally have the surgery that he was recommending. Um, so some tips. The day before your surgery, you want to make sure that you have purchased the following items. A heating pad. This will come in handy. Some big fat granny panties that you don't care about. Those will be very comfortable and your best friend for about a week. Um, loose clothing. You're not going to want to wear jeans or tight leggings. So buy some big t-shirts or wear your husband's clothes or whatever. Um, a little basket is helpful because you're going to need a lot of little items that you use on a regular basis and it's nice to be able to carry that little basket around with you um, from room to room while you're recovering. Um, so day before surgery, eat lightly. I read that that helps with um, how your body reacts to the anesthesia. So even though you're about to fast and you probably want to eat all this big fat food to help you not be starving, don't. I just had soups and bread and um, some fruit and then I fasted, and then the next morning, yes, I was starving, but your surgery is likely to be in the morning or by noon anyways, um, so it's not that bad. Anesthesia, don't be afraid. I was very scared. I've never been put under before. I've had a C-section, but obviously you're awake for that. Um, but it's a walk in the park. They give you a lovely Valium in your IV, and you are warm and fuzzy and happy, and by the time you see the surgical light and the little gas mask, you're gone. Honestly, I don't remember anything except for them waking me up, telling me I'm done. Um, so as soon as you have that glorious moment of being told that you're alive and you're finished, in comes the pain. So brace yourself because in case you haven't already been warned, the gas pain is pretty horrific. I'm not going to lie. I've had a collapsed lung and the pain was pretty similar. So they blow up your abdomen with gas to create this little dome so they can work on all your lady parts and it's impossible to remove all that gas. So guess where it ends up? Everywhere. Trapped. So it feels like it's under your ribs, on your lungs, under your lungs, on your heart, and then it sends this lovely shooting pain up to your shoulder, which I still don't understand why. Um, but it's horrible. So if you feel like you're having a heart attack, or you can't breathe, or you're going to die, or your shoulder's about to be broken, don't worry. It's normal. I think a lot of the pain comes from the fear of what the hell is going on right now. Um, but yeah, so once you know about it, it's just, it is what it is. And you will get through it, and it does eventually go away. Um, my surgery ended up being two hours instead of 45 minutes because I had a lot of endometriosis on top of removing the cyst. Um, so if your surgery isn't going to be two hours, maybe your recovery is going to be a little bit easier. Mine, however, was hell for the first few days. I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat it because what help would that be? Um, again, maybe it's because my surgery was longer, but the pain of the gas was so horrific for at least a two days, three days, like I'm talking really bad. So take your drugs around the clock. I didn't do that the first 24 hours, and that was really stupid. I thought I could be all tough and um, just take a couple drugs here and there, and then if I needed it, I would take it. Big problem. The pain got ahead of me, so when I finally took the drugs, it didn't really do the full, like, whatever it's supposed to do. It didn't work. So don't let the pain get ahead of you. I had my husband set an alarm on his phone for every four to six hours. Um, so that I was taking my pain meds around the clock. So I highly recommend doing that for at least the first two or three days. And then see how you're doing if you want to stop taking your narcotics or whatever. Um, but take it. That really, really helps. Um, as far as the gas pain, there's really nothing to relieve it except for walking. I didn't walk the first 24 hours because I let the pain get ahead of me. And I was so in pain I wanted to punch somebody in the face. Um, but if you are smart and you are taking your drugs around the clock, try and walk if you can. Even though you're hunched over and holding your stomach walk if you can. It helps with the gas. Um, I even had my husband burp me a couple times, like, please burp me, and then stab me with your elbow in my shoulder, because that's the only thing that really helps. Get that heating pad that you bought, put it on your shoulder, and then have your husband or friend elbow out the pain in your shoulder. That's really all that helped me. Um, it's just really hard pressure massaging type of things, and then eventually it goes away. It comes and goes and comes and goes. Um, I would say the first three days, just be prepared to be in a lot of pain. I only slept about two hours the first night, but again, that's probably because I didn't take my pain meds around the clock, so do that. Um, and then the other couple nights, I'm not a back sleeper. I'm a side sleeper, so that sucks. You gotta sleep on your back. But prop up your pillows, put on the movies, just do anything you can to take your drugs and try and fall asleep and forget that you're in pain. Um, by day four or five, you're gonna start feeling better. 
Um, take your stool softeners. That's another tip. I didn't do that. I thought I was super healthy, good digestive system. I don't need stool softeners. Well, guess what happens when you're on Norco around the clock for a few days? Your intestines go on strike. Um, and they stopped working. I was constipated for four days. That's probably TMI, but it was. And I hope you don't have to be because it messes with your mind. It makes you go crazy. Um, and as soon as I took the stool softeners on day four, problem solved. So take your stool softeners from day one, and then you won't have to go through the problem I did. Um, drink a lot of water. I guess that helps push out excess fluids. So drink your water. Walk. Make yourself walk. Set an alarm every hour and a half and make yourself walk for two or three minutes. It helps. It really does. Um, that gas pain, honestly, is your biggest nemesis. Um, incision pains, it kind of sucks, but what do you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're probably expecting that already. Um, I had three incisions, one in the belly button, two on the side. My surgical glue is still there. They look really ugly and scabby looking. I guess they're supposed to fall off within two or three weeks. It's been two weeks and two days. Um, I'm still waiting for those to fall off. Oh, you will be very bloated. I looked about four months, five months pregnant for a week. A huge bloated. I think my body was just going on strike with what happened and all the lasering and battlefield that was my abdomen for a while <laughs> during surgery. Um, and so I was swollen. So be prepared for that. You probably won't fit into your clothes. You look fat. What you going to do? Um, but I'd say after a week, I really started to see a difference of feeling better and being able to walk do stairs more comfortably. Um, and now two weeks, I'm, I'd say I'm probably 90%. I'm able to now like do household stuff, laundry, as you can see, I'm finally washing my sheets. Um, but yeah, if you're one of those people that reads on the internet that you're gonna be good in a week, I don't know about those people. Maybe again, because my surgery was longer, but don't feel bad because I'm at two weeks and I'm just now starting to feel better. So everybody's different. Everybody's endometriosis is different. Everybody's doctor surgery recovery is different. So. Whatever you read, take it with a grain of salt and, yeah, do your best. Kiss up to your family, really, seriously, because they're going to help you, feeding you and taking care of you. And, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I would really love to help. Um, I know it can be a scary time going into surgery, but that's why I'm making this video. So please feel free to comment or ask questions. Um, I feel like I had another tip, but I don't remember. But, yeah. Okay, bye.